In this update, we've got two things to tell you about. Later on in this video, we're gonna be announcing our Facebook competition winners. Yep, but before that, we're gonna give you an insight into what we got up to yesterday at the Taste of London Festival. Okay, so we're here in Regent's Park in London to see what the city's best restaurants have to offer. We've come to be inspired by their signature dishes and to show you how diverse food and drink in London mm -hmm. really can be. Mm -hmm. Now, we've wandered around and we've tasted loads of samples. It's been from, a really tough day. As our job always is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've tried, what we tried, suckling pig. Wow, that was That, that was, was that those was three cold. or four month old pigs, so, so tender. I had some amazing cupcakes. You did like your cupcakes. They, they were nicely stacked, I'll give uh -huh. them that. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, what else was it? Handmade chocolates, mm -hmm. um, some, some fudge. fudge. The fudge was beautiful. Uh, what else? And that deadly hot chilli sauce, which oh. really packs a fudge, feeds a sweat in the forehead, but nice stuff. And of course there was that very, very posh gin. Well, yeah. to wash it all down, some Hendrix gin, so infused with cucumber and rose petal. Very nice indeed. And while we're here, we thought we'd treat ourselves to some proper lunch. Yep, so we took three courses from three different restaurants. Um, three of the best restaurants. Three of the best restaurants. And we started with Kai Mayfair. Okay, so mm -hmm. it was a wasabi prawn dish. Um, luminous in colour, which kind of bonkers. Well, that's what that's what drew attention to it. Um, but it tasted absolutely delicious, so well balanced, um, and Michelin star standard. And then for dinner, well, we thought we'd treat ourselves and go to the Ritz, but then realised we couldn't really afford it, so. So instead we end up at the equally nice Scots where we had a burger. And the poshest burger I've ever, ever had. Shrimp and scallop burger. So wow. not your average burger, but mm. yeah, that pack of punch with a fantastic remoulade in there as well. And so. for pudding then, somehow I managed to get candy floss for pudding. In with this sweet tooth, like a kid in a sweet shop, I tell you. So we went to Skylon and it was a strawberry infused dessert with some lemon basil jelly, beautiful and topped off with fluffy, fluffy candy floss. All in all, it's not been a bad day's work. We've really got to experience the taste of London. Yep, it's a fantastic festival and it's here for the rest of the weekend. So if you're in the area and you've got some time, um, pop on down, maybe you can treat your dad on Father's Day. Um, I can guarantee you it's well worth a visit. Now for the bit that you guys have been waiting for, we're about to announce the winners of our Facebook competition. All week we've had loads and loads and loads of photos sent into our Facebook page. Um, some great, in fact they're all mm. absolutely brilliant. Absolutely beautiful. Some of them top-notch grub, some of them with your own personal twist, which is what it's all about, and others shot among friends and in the situation they're supposed to be eaten. But we have sifted through them and we have found our five favourites. Now it was tough to feel through them, but I think we got there. We did, and, 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 and these are the winners in no particular order. The first two, are Robert, who did a fantastic salmon on croute, a beautiful golden pastry, mm. shot in the garden, looked brilliant. And the second was Titter, who made strawberry shortcake. So she did a big one, and she went and made some small individual ones as well, mm. so there's choice there. Beautifully found out strawberries, and so perfect for this time of the year. Now, next up was Anne. Uh, she made us a chocolate brownie. Now, I like my brownies, most of the anyway. Um, and she went the whole hog by personalising it by putting a little sorted branding on top of it as well, which was perfect. We like that. Yeah. Uh, the next two winners were based on the photograph and how they were shot in terms of the situation mm -hmm. they were in. So, the first of those, well, it was Ashley. Um, she made two of our recipes. She made a sushi recipe and a fried rice recipe and even managed to dress up for the occasion. Yeah, so spot on there. And last but not least, we have Parama, who made one of our more recent recipes, the crustless quiche. Mm. But what we loved about this photo was the fact that she made them for her friends. They were going on a road trip and they took them with them as a packed lunch, just as the recipe was intended. Mm -hmm. um, and the photo shows that they're having fun with food. That's really good to see. Exactly what sort is about. And for you guys, we're going to get these books signed and sent straight to your door, uh, and we'll be in touch uh, to work the, uh, that out. Yeah, but if you didn't get a chance to win a copy on this occasion, and you still want to get your hands on some, then you can do by using the link in the description box below. It will send you to a place where they have free international delivery. So wherever you are in the world, we can get the books to you sorted.